In this video, I'm going to talk about some technical aspects of stencils and masters and the difference between external files and internal files. So before we get going, we need to start with something to, to work with. And I'll start with a basic flowchart because we're familiar with that. Now you can see it's already in my recently used templates list, so I don't have to dive into the category. So I'll just double click that and start right away. Before I get started, I want to go to the Design tab and remove any themes, just to double check, because themes will kind of get in the way of my demonstration. So that's just a little aside right there. So we've got our blank drawing. It's drawing 5. It hasn't been saved yet. And we've got two stencils, cross-functional flowcharts and basic flowchart shapes. These are both windows into external files that are separate from drawing five and contain all these masters. If I go to more shapes and go to the very bottom of the menu, you can see show document stencil. Now that's kind of odd. You've got all these other stencils that you can look for and open, and these all point to separate files on your hard drive that Visio installed. But this document stencil actually is a container for master shapes that resides within drawing five. And I'm going to drag it over to the other side just to prove a point. Now you can see right now it doesn't contain any masters, <coughs> but it looks pretty much like any other stencil window. So what happens if we drag a decision shape onto the page? Watch the document stencil when I let go. What happens is this external decision master is copied to the internal document stencil, and every subsequent decision that I drop on the page is looking to this decision for its definition. This actually helps Visio keep file sizes down because all of these decisions are taking the, they're not repeating all the data that it requires to create the shape. They're just noting, hey, I'm in a different location. Or, hey, my width is a little bit bigger than the, the original ones. Or, I can zoom in a little bit and say, I have text. And this one will give it a green fill color, just to make a point. I used a keyboard shortcut to zoom in and out there. Here I'm holding down Control shift to zoom and pan. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, you can also use these controls down here to zoom in and out. So if I come over to the decision from the external file, the basic flowchart shape stencil, and right click, you can see there's an edit item but it's grayed out because this stencil is set to read only. It's not. It's a. It's a separate file. It's locked down. They don't want you to change the the, sh the masters that Microsoft supplies. But when you copy it into a drawing, the document stencil says, "Go ahead and edit it right here. Edit master. Edit master shape." So if I click on this item, I'll get a new window. If we click restore, you can see that there's two windows open. But look at the caption here. It says Drawing 5, Stencil, Decision. So the stencil from Drawing 5 and the Decision Master within that. So I'm going to edit this master just to see what happens. I'm going to make it narrower. I'm going to give it a red color. A red color. And let's zoom in just a little bit and say, I am the master. Well, I'll make it small, the master, since we're so small. So I've changed the width, I've changed the color, and I've changed the text. When I close this window, Visio will say, do you want to update decision and in all of its instances? That means, do we want to change this master and everything that looks to it on the page? This is an instance, this is an instance, and there's another one behind here that we can't see. So I'll say yes. You can see that some stuff changed in the drawing window. <coughs> but not everything. This shape was made wider, so its width was already overridden from its master, so the width did not change. It doesn't respect the master anymore, but its color and its text changed along with the master. Let's drop the master in here just for reference, so I'll zoom in a little bit. This guy had a default width but it had some text on it already, so he didn't inherit the text from this master. This one had no changes at all, so other than the color, so it got smaller to match the master. It took the text of the master, but it didn't take the color. 
that's pretty much the difference. If you were to have an external stencil that was editable, making changes to the decision out here would not affect your drawing at all. It's only masters that are in the document stencil that can be changed such that the shapes on the page, any page in the document, are updated. So you can see it's a, it's a, ver it's a very powerful feature, but you have to understand the subtleties. You have to know to go to the document stencil, and you have to know that not everything will be updated when you make changes to that because any overrides that you might have done will not be reset by changing the original master. So fairly technical detail. I urge you to experiment this with this for yourself because the more you do, the more you can learn from it. But it's pretty interesting, pretty powerful feature if it's used correctly.